from Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station in Somerset to the coal-fired one at Aberthaw in South Wales. At over 30 years old, many of the UK's power stations are reaching the end of their useful life. And the big question is, what should replace them? 8,000 kilometres away, businesses in India are hampered by frequent power cuts. And in order to keep on working around the clock, many companies have to generate their own supplies. More and more people are saying that India's economy won't continue to grow unless the government thinks seriously about how electricity will be produced. Whether it's Britain or India, Europe, Asia or America, all around the world, the question is the same. How will we continue to provide electricity for the next 30 to 50 years? Energy policy is incredibly important to governments and political parties and there's a lot of talking about it. When it comes to how the energy industry works, government tends to set the framework, the policy framework within which we operate. So they decide whether they want to go for low carbon technologies or are more important to do um, security supply and where those fuels and things come from or how much they cost. And within that framework, companies like Empower and RWE make decisions that are very long-term decisions. So when we build a power station, it can take five, six, seven, eight years to, to design and build a power station. And that's got to last for 20, 30, 40 years. Knowing how much generating capacity to build means predicting changes in demand. In many developed countries like the UK and USA, technology's done us a favour. Ever more efficient cars, low energy lighting and better insulation in buildings mean that annual per capita consumption is actually falling. But whilst per capita consumption's falling, the UK's population is rising rapidly, so we still need more energy. And in the fast-growing economies, like India and China, demand is increasing year on year. The question is, should we develop enough capacity to allow everyone to use as much energy as they want? Or should we look at ways of cutting energy use? The other challenge is that electricity can't be stored. So you have to produce enough to meet demand as it goes up and down day and night.